Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you how I tame my pets. And in particular, this video is about hand feeding. So you guys probably know this, I use this method with pretty much all my pets and it works so well, particularly the rabbits and guinea pigs. And I've been using it lately and it's just helped so much with the rabbits and I've always used it with the guinea pigs and occasionally I like to use it hamster and gerbils as well because it does work with pretty much all small animals. Pretty much all you need is vegetables and this is you know so important because you're basically wanting to teach them that you're not a threat to them and that they can trust you and this works so well because they learn to associate you with something positive so I think food is probably the best thing to use so we've got a variety of vegetables here you can also use treats like pea flakes and stuff but they are quite fattening so vegetables are good and I've got lots of leafy greens so I'm gonna get on with this and show you what to do so you can tell it's feeding time all the guinea pigs are going crazy and running around and the rabbits have also worked out that the food's here so we'll get started probably have to do the guinea pigs first because they go in absolutely crazy hi good morning hi guys i'll have to take their hair rack out <laughs> um piper <laughs> oh. hello oh. are you hungry like of course just feed us right now <laughs> Oh. All you need to do, <laughs> oh look at TK, basically all you have to do is put your hand out and at first they may not come straight towards you, especially if they're new pets and you've only had them like a few days or a few weeks, then they may hide away and you've just got to keep trying and eventually they will learn to trust you. So don't expect them just to come straight up to you. Some might do because they might be confident. See, like when we first got tea cake, she was already like this. But um, for example, Bonnie was very timid. So it just depends on the individuals and you've got to give them all time and patience and don't force them if they're not happy. You don't want to cause stress. So let them come towards you and in time, they will learn to trust you. It also helps with the more guinea pigs you have. I know that's not an option for everybody, but having a, like a big herd is helping so much because we had some very, very shy guinea pigs, but when they got introduced to the herd, they became so more confident because guinea pigs are naturally herd animals. They are, they sort of have that mentality of safety in numbers. So the more of them that there are, the more safe they feel in which case the more confident they're going to be so that really really helps but this method will work whether you have like two guinea pigs or whether you have a big group so that's kind of the beauty of it you can chop the vegetables up into really small pieces this works well in the beginning but once they get more tame you can just let them come towards you and let them take it out your hand you don't even have to hold it you can just let them take it off you and you get to learn what they like to eat, what they don't like to eat. You get to learn more about the personality. It's also great for detecting illness if they're not coming out, if they're acting weird, if they're having difficulty chewing or walking or you notice something's off with their eyes, their nose, and it's a great way to interact with them and notice if anything's off with them. And I think that's why it's so important and this is why I'm starting to do it more. come from I just shut the rabbits in and they've managed to get out so I'm just gonna wait for them to come towards me I'm not gonna force them they can come in their own time so you can see already they've come they're curious because they're hungry and it really helps when they're hungry because they'll be more driven to the food so would you like some lettuce where's big wig big wig and it's okay if they run away you just wait for them to come back don't force them and yeah, come on, big wig. Oh, <laughs> that just fell over. Come on, darling. Do you like so? And I think patience is key here. You've got to be so patient. And you can also talk to them whilst you hand feed them. It sounds weird, but they then understand 
that's your voice and they understand to associate your voice with something good again so it's all about being positive and just uh, letting them gain your trust giving them time and yeah do you not want that i'll go and get some more I know she wants something in here. Hi Pear. Come on then. Would you want some broccoli? How about if I move over here? Would you like some broccoli? Come on then, darling. Come on then. What's this? And when you learn what they like and dislike, this really helps because you can um, it really helps giving them food that they really like because then again they're going to most likely want to come towards you so that's a really good thing to do. comfortable and they come to sit on your knee some of them do it depends on their personality you see bigwig is a bit more timid so he likes to keep his distance whereas piper is very confident and she'll sit on my knee and if they get to this stage then you can gently stroke their ears and their head and some like it down their back as well learn what um your pet likes and then you can go from there really but it really depends on their personalities like piper's so confident and outgoing whereas bigwig is very shy so he's come so far in just a few days trying this method which is why i wanted to share it with you guys i don't know if you guys saw that right then but um, the problem is sometimes with rabbits who have been strays, like these two are both strays, um, the problem is that they, Bigwig for example, um, probably has got it into his head that as soon as he sees food he has to take it and grab it, which is why that, what you just saw, might seem a bit like, um, I don't know, aggressive, but honestly it's because he's got it into his head that he sees food and he has to take it and I think that's when they've been, I don't know why I've just got to carry him around. <laughs> anyway, so he's got it into his head that he has to take the food as soon as he sees it so even if that means taking it off Piper because I think he still thinks that food is like limited and he's, he may not know when the next time he'll get fed. <laughs> What do you want? No? <laughs> You ready for your breakfast? Oh, Right, so this works so well with skinny pigs because skinny pigs are extremely food driven, at least mine are anyway. So it just works so well. And they literally from day one they were doing this because they're very, very confident, cheeky, outgoing, and very food driven. So they will happily come over and jump on my knee even if I don't have food. So it works really well. And another thing I wanted to mention is that I let them come to me. I didn't put them here. You saw they jumped up themselves. So I think that's kind of another misconception that you have to 
force them onto your lap for them to become tame and that's completely not true at all and I would say the opposite is true, let them come towards you. I mean, fair enough if you want to pick them up and have them on your knee, that's all fine, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm not saying what you kind of can't do, all I'm saying is that I've had so much success with letting them come towards me and you can see it works and the great thing about this method, it works if you only have a couple of guinea pigs or if you have a whole group of them, if you have rabbits, dagoos, rats, mice, um, and yeah, I just, I feel this is something I will always use with my animals and it allows them to still live quite naturally, but at the same time you have that interaction with them, which I really like. So you don't have to, you know, make them feel scared or threatened. You can see they're more than comfortable here, just sat on my knee, um, which is amazing. And I love to have this interaction with them. What have you done? You've got lettuce juice everywhere.